For the next part of our letter, we're going to paint it so it has value, where there will be a light side, a medium side, and a dark side. We're going to do this using tints, hues, and shades. A tint is what you will start with, and that's where you have any color plus white. So here's my main color, this would be the hue, and add it to the white, and stir the white up completely. You know what's mixed well when all the little streaks are gone? It is one solid color. When you're painting something with really straight lines like this, you normally want to start at the pointy end and pull your brush away. So the tint will be on the face of the object. So that will be the front of your letter. So start in the corner, pull away. Start in the corner, pull away. Once the face of the object is painted, then make sure you clean that brush off really well and dry your brush. So I'm rubbing on the bottom of the cup. I'll dry it on the edge of my paint shirt or on a towel. Then we use the hue, the unmixed color. Then you decide what side will be your medium side. I made sure my medium side stayed consistent. So it's on the left over here, it's on the left here, and on the left there. And for the last stage, you need shades. So we take a little bit of black, mix it in your hue. So it makes it a little darker. I'm leaving some in case I have a mistake that I have to paint over. If you would like to bum some paint off a friend and borrow one of their colors, you can. And then you could paint some kind of really simple pattern on the face of the object, but not anywhere else. We're not doing the cast shadow on the paper today. We're gonna wait for this to dry. And then we will draw the cast shadow and paint it onto your page and your letter will be complete. It's really important to keep your edges clean because this is not getting cut out. It's staying on this piece of paper. So I have my tint on the face of the object. I have my hue over here on the side, but then this shifts and becomes the bottom as well. So that means I need to take my shade and my shade goes on the bottom part, but I do need to blend these two colors together. So you can start out by overlapping them a little bit. And you can always take a dry brush that's clean and blend the two colors together. So the hue shifts into the shade. 